Welcome back to the channel. Feeling stuck on a treadmill, working hard just to make ends meet. That's the rat race and it's a trap. But here's the good news. You don't have to stay stuck. Today, we're diving into how to escape the rat race uh, without quitting your job. Yes, it's possible. I'm going to share proven strategies to help you regain control of your life, build financial freedom and live on your terms, all while staying employed. Strategy number one to escape the rat race is to diversify your income. Relying solely on one paycheck is risky business. If your job goes away, so does your income. Instead, create multiple streams of income. Think of each stream as another safety net, another pillar supporting your financial house. So, how do you build these income streams? Start with a side hustle. What skills or talents do you have that you could monetize? Maybe you're a whiz at graphic design, a coding guru, or a wordsmith extraordinaire. There are tons of freelance platforms out there where you can find clients and start earning extra cash. But it doesn't have to be strictly freelance work. Maybe you're passionate about photography and could sell your prints online. Or perhaps you have a knack for baking and could start a small catering business on the side. The key is to find something you enjoy doing that also has the potential to generate income. Even a little extra cash flow can make a big difference over time. Another powerful way to build multiple streams of income is through investing. You don't need to be a financial expert to start investing. There are plenty of beginner-friendly options out there like index funds and ETFs. The beauty of investing is that it allows your money to work for you even while you're sleeping. Over time, your investments can generate passive income in the form of dividends, interest or rental income if you invest in real estate. Consider buying a small rental property. Even a single rental property can generate a steady stream of passive income each month. Plus, real estate is a tangible asset that tends to appreciate in value over time, building long-term wealth. Remember, building multiple streams of income takes time and effort. By diversifying your income sources, you're creating a solid foundation for financial freedom and peace of mind. Strategy number two to escape the rat race is a game changer live below your means. Living below your means doesn't mean depriving yourself or living like a monk. It's about being mindful of your spending and making conscious choices about where your money goes. Every dollar you spend is a dollar you could be investing in your future. Start by tracking your expenses for a month. You'd be surprised how much money can slip through the cracks on things like subscriptions you don't use, take out coffee or impulse purchases. Once you have a clear picture of your spending habits, you can start identifying areas where you can cut back without sacrificing your happiness. For example, do you really need that premium cable package? Could you switch to a streaming service or even just cut the cord altogether? Brewing your coffee at home could save you hundreds, even thousands of dollars per year. Before you buy something, ask yourself, do I really need this or do I just want it? If it's the latter, give yourself a 24-hour cooling off period. By freeing up more cash flow, you can accelerate your journey to escaping the rat race. Living below your means is about aligning your spending with your values. Strategy number three, invest in your financial education. You can't escape a game you don't understand, right? Yet most of us are never taught the rules of personal finance. Think back to school. Did you have classes on budgeting, investing or understanding debt? Probably not. We're taught about the Pythagorean theorem and the mitochondria, but not about how money works in the real world, so it's up to you to take charge of your financial literacy. The good news is there are tons of resources available, and many of them are free or very affordable. Start with books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki and The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas Stanley. Or dive into more modern takes like I Will Teach You to Be Rich by Ramit Sethi or Broke Millennial Takes on Investing by Erin Lowry. Podcasts are another fantastic and often free way to absorb financial knowledge on the go. Listen to experts discuss investing strategies, money management tips, and real estate insights. Some of my favorites include Choose FI, The Bigger Pockets Money Podcast, and Afford Anything with Paula Pant. Websites like Investopedia and NerdWallet offer a wealth of information on everything from investing basics to choosing the right credit card. Financial education is not a one-time event, it's an ongoing journey. The more you learn about managing your money, building wealth and making smart financial decisions, the more equipped you'll be to escape the rat race. Strategy number four, pay off debt aggressively. Debt is like a ball and chain. 
weighing you down and holding you back from reaching your full potential. The more you owe, the more you're essentially working for someone else, the bank, the credit card company, you name it. Now, there's good debt and bad debt. Good debt, like a mortgage on a rental property that generates income, can actually help you build wealth. But bad debt, like high interest credit card debt or personal loans, is what we need to tackle head on. The first step is to create a budget and identify exactly how much debt you have and what interest rates you're paying, then create a debt payoff plan. There are two popular methods, the snowball method and the avalanche method. With the snowball method, you focus on paying off your smallest debt first, regardless of interest rates, to build momentum and motivation. The avalanche method, on the other hand, prioritizes the debt with the highest interest rate to save the most money on interest charges. Whichever method you choose, the key is to be consistent and aggressive with your payments. Consider cutting back on unnecessary expenses, picking up a side hustle, or even negotiating lower interest rates with your creditors to speed up the process. As you chip away at your debt, you'll free up more cash flow, reduce stress, and gain a newfound sense of control over your finances. Watching that debt balance shrink down to zero is a huge accomplishment and a major step towards escaping the rat race. Strategy number five, negotiate your salary and benefits. You are your best advocate, and sometimes you've got to ask for what you deserve. Now, I know negotiating can be intimidating, especially if you're not used to it, but trust me, it's a skill worth developing and it can make a huge difference in your earning potential over time. Before you even step into your boss's office, do your research. Use websites like Glassdoor or Salary.com to see what other professionals in your field with similar experience are earning in your area. This will give you a solid baseline for negotiation. Next, prepare a compelling case for why you deserve a raise. Highlight your accomplishments, the value you bring to the company and any additional responsibilities you've taken on. Be confident, articulate and focus on the positive impact you've made and don't be afraid to negotiate beyond just salary. Consider other benefits that can improve your work-life balance and financial well-being, such as flexible work arrangements, additional vacation time, or professional development opportunities. By advocating for yourself and your worth, you can increase your earning potential and accelerate your journey toward escaping the rat race. Strategy number six, focus on your health and well-being. When you're feeling stressed, burnt out, or just plain unhealthy, it's hard to muster the energy and motivation to tackle your finances. On the other hand, when you prioritize your health and well-being, you're essentially investing in your most valuable asset, yourself. You'll have more energy, focus and resilience to face challenges head on and make progress towards your goals. It starts with the basics. Get enough sleep, eat a nutritious diet and move your body regularly. But it's not just about physical health. Mental health is equally important. Make time for activities that bring you joy and help you de-stress whether it's reading, spending time in nature, meditating or connecting with loved ones. By prioritizing your health and well-being, you'll be better equipped to handle the challenges of escaping the rat race and create a life you love, both financially and personally. Strategy number seven, develop a long-term vision. Escaping the rat race is not just about making more money or paying off debt. It's about designing a life you love a life of purpose and fulfillment. So take some time to reflect on what truly matters to you. What are your passions? What kind of impact do you want to make on the world? What does financial freedom look like for you? Once you have a clear vision of your ideal future, break it down into smaller, actionable goals. Having a roadmap will keep you motivated and focused even when things get tough. The important thing is to have a direction, a North Star to guide you on your journey and don't be afraid to dream big. The more audacious your goals, the more inspired and motivated you'll be to achieve them. Start envisioning the life you want and then take action to make it happen. Outro, you got this. There you have it, seven powerful strategies to help you escape the rat race without quitting your job. Remember, it's not about finding a magic shortcut. It's about taking consistent action, building good habits and staying focused on your long-term vision. Thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments which strategy you're going to try first. Financial freedom is a journey, not a race. See you in the next video. See you in the...